Dear Doc, ever wonder if you were told you only had a short time to live, how you'd live your life? I guess some people buy Ferraris or eat all the chocolate they want. But it seems like most folks seek what's truly precious. God, family, friends, feeling grateful for every moment and not waiting any longer to say I'm sorry and I love you. With Ms. DeWitt's help, Brian did just that. And while there won't be any wedding, there is a great friendship. Brian and Emma are moving to North Carolina to be with their grandparents. Miss DeWitt's already got her plane ticket for her first visit, something she'll no doubt do often for the rest of Brian's life and Emma's. happy to report Nate's crime spree has come to an end. His rehabilitation involved a couple of good nights sleep and a small bit of community service. You again? Hey buddy, if you're becoming some kind of stalker, I'm gonna call the police. I'm not a stalker. I came to apologize. I know you didn't steal anything because I was the one who did. You wanna run that by me again? I was hiding things in my sleep from my eighth month old so he wouldn't hurt himself with them. Look, the point is, I'm sorry I accused you. Hey, it's OK. You were smart to put stuff out of reach. Wait till he starts walking. I got a 16-month-old. Oh, yeah? Yeah, th this is Danny. Oh, he looks just like his dad. Yeah. This is my 8-month-old Matthew, and that's my 12-year-old Raul. Good-looking kids. Toughest job in the world, being a dad. And the best job in the world. Except for diapers. <laughs> You got a point right there. <laughs> and on the clinic front, Derek's become an inventor. And he's pretty dang good. I got him working on a little thing called house call on a hook. I'll send you one if he ever gets it done. And one more thing, Doc. Please keep Ms. DeWitt in your prayers. I know God has plans for her. I just pray she can hold on to that promise. All my love, Doc Cassidy. <laughs>